First, we'll start with an opening statement from head coach Jared Elliott. Well, first, congratulations to Fairfield uh, and coach Todd Kress. Um, you know, for them to go 18 or 0 in conference and, and get into the NCAA tournament is remarkable. It's hard to go undefeated in any conference, and um, it's remarkable to be able to keep your team poised and, and play at that level all the way throughout the season. So, and they came out and they showed that they could play with us uh, early on. Uh, I think it was 15-14, and they were almost hitting 500 against us. Um, and then we were able to kind of get our defense going a little bit more. But um, the NCAA tournament, there's a lot of nerves. Um, I thought we were able to settle, settle down a little bit more as the match went on. And uh, we obviously got some great production tonight from our middles and, and Ebony early on to, to get a lot of first ball kills and uh, give us some separation uh, early in, in some of those matches, uh, games. Questions for the student athletes? Chi or Ebony, just overall thoughts about um, opening up the tournament with a sweep? Yeah, um, we knew Fairfield was going to be tough against us. We knew they were going to battle. And it's the first game of the NCAA tournament. There's going to be nerves both sides. But um, our communication was just about taking care of what we could take care of and just being calm on our side and trying to scrape away points. Um, I think in the first set, um, we kind of just said right now we're playing enough to win the game and not enough to necessarily um, dominate. And I think that kind of like started a little spark in that little um, time moment. And then Shook just like um, dished out really good sets and it worked for everyone. Yeah, you know, one of the things you look at is your hitting percentage and the opponent's hitting percentage. You know, if you're 150 point difference, you're going to be in a good position. Then I look at our, air, our kill percentage uh, at close to 50%, which is remarkable. And then you look at the error percentage. So our error percentage is extremely low tonight. Um, it wants to be under 12% for us. And so we hit all those numbers. And so when you're able to do that and control your, the game, um, you're going to put yourself in a good position to, to win. Um, I think Shuck was really collected and calm while well, she appeared that she was um, for our first tournament. And I think that a lot of us just gave her confidence before the game, and I think that also helped. And just um, her confidence is really contagious, and it makes the hitters confident. And I just think that we were able to just see the whole core, and with her sets, we're able to place it where we wanted to. Yeah, I just think um, at the end of the day, it's another game, and it's something that we've been working on in practice, just building that connection every day. So it's awesome to see it pay off in the games. Coach, that second set, Fairfield fought off set point on three separate occasions. How much did that one specific instance speak to their resiliency? Well, I think there's, there's obviously a lot riding on this tournament, and the women that are able to earn their right to this NCAA tournament uh, have proven that they're fighters throughout the season. Um, and as I told you, they've got some fun little, they're just a little undersized compared to what we have, but they've got some ballers that can touch the ball well and, and compete and have some good arms. And we knew they would fight. I mean, from watching them on film, the matches that we had, they would get after it. And so I have a lot of respect for what Todd has done with this program. And, you know, they, it's, it's part of the building process for them. And I think they're, he's done a great job there. Yeah, now I have a, a good set of number of matches on them. I'll go watch and, and look at some of the statistical patterns. Um, we'll see kind of how what some of our matchups are going to be. Um, but they're physical. You know, both their left sides. I, I didn't see the final box score, but I know they took a lot of swings. Um, and they've got a very good block. And, um, you know, they're, they're well disciplined uh, behind the block. So, again, it's it, we're going to have to show up and, and play. This is this tournament is always about how you how you perform. Um, and if you can put yourself in a position to be steady and hit the numbers that we train on a daily basis, then 
then we'll be in a position to, to have an opportunity to, to get there. So, um, but as I told the team in the locker room, I know that's a great win, uh, getting through the first match. And tomorrow night, the stakes are raised. And when stakes are raised, it makes it more enjoyable to go compete. And we'll see if we have what it takes tomorrow night and, and get ready to, to get a good night's sleep and, and wake up ready to battle and compete. Um, it would mean a lot. Um, it's sad to think that it's the last home match at Gregory, but we're just excited to get out there and hopefully get a win. Um, I did all my crying on senior night, so I won't be sad tomorrow. But um, just... I'll be sad. Yeah. <laughs> I'll probably still cry. But it's the last game that me and she will play in Gregory ever. The next time we'll be in Gregory is just watching. So there are little emotions with that, but at the same time, like we have to focus on the game ahead of us rather than get caught up in the fact that it's going to be our last time. Any more questions? Okay, thank you.